Hi friends, good morning. TGIF, finally Friday. Are you wearing your Fairview clothes today? Today's Fairview Friday, look at my shirt. There it is, Fairview Warriors. That's my new shirt that I got this year. Um, so I'm gonna wear my Fairview stuff today. You wear yours too, it's our spirit week, right? Uh, Friday, fabulous fun Friday. To you do your work this week? Maybe you can get some free play time. Is that what we're all doing at home? Lots of free play time? I know, I totally miss free play Fridays, don't you? We'll get back to those pretty soon, hopefully. Um, so today, fabulous fun Friday. Do another spring writing prompt for me. Pick a new one off of there. Do it in your foundations journal. Be careful looking at the lines. Make sure they're matching up in the right spots. Um, packet. Let's see what you're doing in your packet. So you have an S H S H activity. <clears throat> Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this one right here. So S H remember says shh 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 S H ship Shh. so s words h words and sh words okay so that's one activity that you're going to do and then counting forward from a number me find that one somehow i feel like these pages maybe got out of order from this is it this is it so spring addition so you're adding if you want to cut these little guys out to add you can if you want to use your fingers you can do that too up to you so you have those two papers to do spring edition shh sort uh, i'm gonna send you two activities on seesaw so click on the light bulb uh, one is characters and settings so characters remember are people or animals that the story's about, okay? And a setting is where they're at. Are they at the mall? Are they at the doctor's office? Are they at their house? Are they at the park? So the setting is the place. The character is who the story's about. So you're gonna have to separate character and setting on this one, okay? And then there's another one, uh, counting forward from a number. So kind of like what we did back on Monday where you had to write the number in the leaf and write the next couple of numbers. That's what we're going to do again. Kind of the same thing that I have you do in morning meeting when I say, I'm thinking of a number. It's 65. Count up from there. Kind of like that. Okay. So kind of the same thing. Um, listen to a story today, maybe storyline online or, um, you know, one of the ones that I've sent you or maybe, um, you know, one of Mrs. Brady or Mr. Krivak's stories that they've sent you throughout the week. Um, so listen to some reading today or maybe have an adult read a story to you if they have time. I know some moms and dads are working from home. Some are having a little bit of time that they may be able to read you a story. So maybe ask them. Maybe somebody can read you a story today. It's good to listen to reading. Um, practice all your sight words. All of them. You don't have to send me a video, but practice them all. Okay, uh, reading eggs, 10 minutes of reading eggs. I want to see if you can open another egg today. I'm going to look and see who's going to beat the level that they're on. Bet you can do it. Um, so do that. Do some reading eggs lessons and then read a book on Raz. Take the quiz. I'll check it. All right. So that's all for Friday. Maybe send me a picture of what you're playing with for Free Play Friday since I'm missing out on all of that. I'll send you a picture of what Owen's playing with. Maybe not. <laughs> he plays a lot of video games. Um, all right, so that's all I know for Friday. So I will talk to you all later. Can't wait to see your work. All right, miss you. Bye.